right, so welcome to Poor Decisions. My name is Gary L. And we are reviewing another wine today. Today is going to be like in a regular wine family, nothing foreign, I guess. Um, so we're going to be doing a red wine. Um, so this one is also budget friendly. So today we are trying a Shiraz. You see it? Shiraz? There we go. And this one's by Yellowtail, which is like not a fancy brand. It's just really common, like in the barefoot family and the, the Cayo, Caballo, Cayo, whatever. If you know, you know. If you don't, you don't. Maybe I'll try one of those later. But um, of course, started drinking it already. Um, I had a team night earlier on Zoom, so I was uh, drinking some of the wine. But this one is a lot better than the last time. It's less strong, but it's more in the wine family, and I love it so far. So here is my handy dandy glass. Ah, cheers. Yeah, good. It's dry. It's definitely dry. So if you don't like dry wine, this one's not for you. It has no ounce of sweet at all. Now, I like my wines super dry like desert sahara pow, type of dry and why i couldn't tell you it's something about like dry wine has more of a texture that i like so it's like after you drink it's like like real i don't know how to explain that but just um and like sweet wines i feel like are juice if i wanted to go drink juice i'll go buy some welches uh but this one is dry but something about it I don't really like so this one was eight dollars it says in the small Australian town of Yenda I tried you, you heard me okay we don't have to talk about it the Kaseya family has been making wine for generations it is here that Yellowtail was created blase blase this one is 13.5 percent alcohol volume so less than what we tested out on well i posted the video yesterday so yesterday but i tried it out on monday um so this would be one of those things where um, my cousin always said red wine has to be finished as soon as it opened and i don't always agree with that but for twist tops i definitely agree with that if it's a cork you have two days but if it's twist top you have to finish it that night so get you a partner and so be it I love red wine. I love red wine so much. And I like red wine because it has more body. And what body, you know what? I'm actually gonna Google. I'm gonna Google what body means to get an accurate description of it. But red wine has, I just feel, has more body than white. Now, white is a good gift to give. If you're giving a gift, like a wedding gift, white is really like pristine clean so fresh is so clean clean the thin thing yeah all of that white wine but red wine near significant other y'all trying to get y'all trying to hug each other real tight you know y'all trying to do a little bit of this right uh i definitely would suggest red wine not this one but if you like dry wine this one isn't bad Let, let's let's get this out the way I'm trying to beat my favorite. My favorite is 19 Crimes. This says red wine, but I think it's a Merlot. If anything, it tastes like a Merlot. Um, mind you, we are in quarantine right now. So when I go to Publix, when I go to Walmart, when I go to the liquor store, I kind of try to get three or four, not to, you know, OD and I live with my mom. So got to get her some sweet wine. She likes like Moscato. It's Rosado, Lambrusco, her little peach here, little mango there, sangrias. Like those are the type of things my mom likes. I am just dry, 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 dry. Like my phone. Um, but this one isn't bad. I don't think anyone young needs to be drinking like red wine. I have like the palate of a fifty-year-old. But like who checking me no one not you 
um and it's a small bottle the 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 other one was a lot bigger a lot stronger but it was a totally different type of wine but this one's good so i would rate this a okay for me i would rate this a 7.3 out of 10. and that's just because this one's dryness comes off a little sour um and the dryness i like is a little it's just it's, I, I want to describe it as empty for price. You know what, I don't actually have to drink a lot more. I'm not even like near where I was with the other. And and I'm talking about on, on like the, the drunko meter. So if this is belligerent blacked out and this is conversation with your manager, conversation with your dean and excel at it, um, I would put this one right here if I right here if I were to finish the bottle because like I'm like ha a little less than halfway down and I'm still moving but that's the Shiraz Shiraz is different it's definitely a dry wine I was expecting it to be sweet but I don't like to do research before I buy stuff so that's it so tune in whenever next i post another video i think next video will be on like a moscato so tune back into poor decisions to see what we got in store to see which or should or should not be getting during this quarantine time period so you guys have a nice one stay safe